How's it going on, you game travelers out there? Sir Race here, and welcome back to today's video. We are back playing Put a Sock, and it, I really enjoyed it the last time I recorded it, even though this game is very weird and very strange. But you know what? That's okay because I'm able to talk and I'm able to act things out, and I like stuff like that. And it seems like you guys enjoyed it as well. So we're going to go ahead and continue on in the world of Sock Mania because I have no better name to call it but that. But we're going to go and play through all the three other their character modes with the princess and the ghost the princess and the stable boy and the stable boy with the ghost so let's go ahead and get to that part where we choose characters yeah let's tell stories would you guys like that yes that would be quite nice eh, I guess I love Ralph because it's just how random and how abrupt he is He's just like eh. I mean I really don't want to but I will if we need to the story takes place in a magical kingdom just outside of town. Ooh, I love it there. So, what happens? Let's go ahead and do the princess to start things out. And we'll go ahead and also do the wonderful stable boy. And we'll go ahead and go through the list. And we'll just do one scenario for each so we can get through all of the wonderful characters. I'm a humble stable boy. Just poking at some hay with my pitchfork and caring for our animal friends. Okay, let's see what happens. Pr Princess, you're Princess Frediska. Hello there, that I am. And you are? You probably don't remember me. My name is Ralph, the stable boy. I've seen you around the grounds. You are always seem to be chasing or chased by one of the animals. <laughs> you're right. They can be a handful, but they're really nice to spend time with. I can see that. Let's go ahead and be friends. We should be friends, don't you think? We're the same age I saw on your IMDB page. I don't see why we wouldn't be. What kind of things do you like to do, Ralph? She remembered my name. <gasps> of course I did. You just introduced yourself. Oh. Um, I like hanging out with the animals mostly, riding through the countryside. Ooh, and there's a pitchfork throwing competition next month. You should watch me practice if you like. Yeah, yeah! That's not really my sport, you know. Alright, but it does get pretty freaky. What about you, princess? Honestly, I like to get away from all the formality and pretense of the kingdom. If I'm out here on my own, I have no one to keep up appearances for, no one to judge me. I must, it must be nice that you can be out here by yourself all the time. I have to play the part right, or I'll get scowled. Or worse. Uh, I think the stable boy right now would be like, oh my goodness, you are awesome. So we're going to go and say you're wonderful. I feel like we're really opening up to each other. I don't even know why, but ever since... I've really felt it here through, I really couldn't talk to any people at all. Sometimes I feel the same way. Do you speak to the pigs as well? I beg your pardon? Never mind, never mind. I think you're wonderful, princess. I can't imagine anyone judging you badly. You're smart and kind, and really beautiful. Oh, well thank you, Ralph. You're so sweet. About the prince princess ball tonight. If you're not going with anyone, I thought maybe... Oh, but that's just for nobility. Yeah, but my fairy godmother says she has it covered. That's convenient. Most people don't have magical guardians manipulating the outcome of their lives at every turn. Good for you. <laughs> I like that. Most people don't have magical guardians manipulating their outcome. It's just like, yeah, you're lucky. Congratulations, sir. What was that? helps to have some family connections. Well, I'll save you a dance. Uh, we belong together. Animals are better as people. Veggie power. We belong together. I'll take you up on that. And then after midnight, our carriage will turn back into a pumpkin. And then we can go back to my place and make some pumpkin pie. Wouldn't that be great? Um, I think I have other plans. Princess, don't you see that we belong together? It's almost as thought we finished each other's... Exactly! I mean, think about it. What could be more perfect 
than a princess and a stable boy getting together. Yeah, for the stable boy, maybe. But the princess should do a whole lot better. For instance, did you know that I am being courted by Scent Princess as well for many uh, kingdoms right now, all of whom will attend tonight's ball? Daddy's pushing for a political alliance with Prince Kong, but I think Fabio is so much more dreamy. Have you met Fabio? Oh. Uh. You know. I just remembered. I have to go do something. <laughs> right now. Aw. The princess broke that kid's heart. I feel so sad about that. It's so sad. He completely had his heart crushed. I'm sure the stable boy has loved the princess for all his life. And the prince was just like, hey, no, I don't like you. Get out. I don't want to see you again. Well, I, I am going to dance with you. But there's so many more dreamy people out there. And the stable boy is just like, why am I not enough? I, that's so true in life, though. There's, that is so true. Even if this is not a life lesson. I learned that I was hungry. We should eat Serena. But then how will we live? Yeah, that... There wasn't a lesson there, but I felt like that was a lesson or just a reality that life has to where some people don't really see the best in people because they're lower class or things like that. So that's definitely touching, especially in this type of area. So what we're going to go ahead and do now, we're going to go ahead and do the ghost and we're going to keep the stable boy to see if the stable boy has anything interesting to stay. So stable boy, go ahead and reappear for me real quick. I'm a humble stable boy, just poking at some hay with my pitchfork and caring for my animal friends. I did say I was a ghost! Boo! <laughs> what? Wait, please don't hurt me! I just work here. I'm not like one of those jerks with money and opportunity. Yeah, but I bet you do real good work here, Ralph. What's with the aggressiveness? I'm just here to feed the animals, occasionally she away something I find sleeping in the stables. I live a modest life, dear ghost. Silence, stable boy. You cannot fool me. I know all about you, Ralph. Or should I say, Georgie. Gasp! I mean, ah! You can't begin to comprehend the power and knowledge found in the afterlife. Well, what else do you know about me? Uh, your past, what you've been doing. Uh, I know what you want. I know what you're after. I've seen the way you look at the princess whenever she comes to visit. Alas, poor Georgie. You don't really believe she will come to see you, do you? Gah! What do you mean? What do you know? I couldn't understand how I feel. Couldn't understand what it feels like to be so close to the one you love and know nothing that can ever become of it. To watch others flirt and prance with them because you were born to a different station out in this world? A different class? Yes. Like that. I know more than you might think, Georgie. Whose ghost are you even? Uh, the horse. You are the horse. Oh, you don't recognize me anymore. Is that it? Well, how about now? No. That really doesn't change anything. Say, do you mind not haunting me for a while? I kind of have work to. How quickly do we forget those that help us most? Look again, this long nose that has always been there for you to lean on. These hooves that bore your weights a thousand times over. Samantha? No, not Samantha, you utter buffoon! It is I, Chelsea, your once proud mare. Wait, Chelsea? That that horse that I had when I was 12? Oh yes, Georgie, and I haven't forgotten about you. Why do you care how I look at the princess? Oh, I just thought maybe I knew something about you she didn't. Oh? Yeah, Georgie, does that make you nervous? Nervous? Me? No. <laughs> Why? Should I be nervous? Uh, you're making mistake, murder. You're making mistake. I'm sorry to say it, but you're making a big mistake. What? With the princess? Why? You need to play yourself off as exciting, a mystery, the unknown, something she can't possibly resist. How will she stand a chance against all of those other suitors? Wait. How many suitors exactly are we talking about? 
Georgie, please, have you taken a look at yourself? Even one suitor up against you is way too many. But I can only be myself, right? Trust me, it hasn't worked for a good reason. <laughs> That's a very valid point, actually. The princess doesn't want to know the real you. Frankly, nobody does. She just wants to do some wild and crazy thing that she's going to do to regret for the rest of her life. That's why you have to be that really, really bad idea looked good that one time. This is supposed to be encouraging me? I think I have some good qualities. I am compassionate, well-meaning, kind, generous. I smell all right for a stable boy. Okay, don't listen to me. See where that gets you. Anyways, I have to go back to Horse Heaven. Horse Jeopardy starts in 10 minutes. I've come all this way to go look out for you, but whatever. Catch you later, Georgie. <laughs> I have qualities. Well, we didn't learn anything this time, did we? Speak for yourself. I learned many things. I'm just not telling you. Stingy. Okay, that was good. Uh, I definitely like the princess and the stable boy more, but I like the ghost and the stable boy as well. So what we're going to go ahead and do now is we're going to do the princess and we're going to do the wizard. Because last time we did the ghost and the wizard, so it's going to be good to kind of switch it up. So the princess and the wizard. Let's bring it on. Well, I'm the all-powerful and super evil wizard Nefarto. Let's do this thing. Unhand me, vile swan! Do you not realize who I am? I am Princess Frendiska, daughter of his lordship, the King Titus. And when my father finds out what you've done, I will have you drawn up in a crow's nest cage. Yeah, I can speak English, okay? Princess, please. This attitude is unbecoming of a lady in your position. Just tell me what you want. Want? I? Want? Me? Say it already! <laughs> Whatever I want is already mine. I wanted you, and here you are. I wanted a dragon, and he serves me. I wanted power, and I have it. I just have to say, Draco, my Draco, and all my enemies fall before me. You should be asking what I have. And the answer is, I have it all! <laughs> it all belongs to me, and now so do you, because, well, I said so. Yeah. Gasp! Uh, let's go and say, you are so charming, did you say dragon? How dare you? Uh, how dare you? Fiend, scoundrel, pervert, low life, I demand you to free me at once! Aha! Uh -huh. Enough! My ears are aching. If you do not calm yourself, woman, I shall abandon you in this dungeon. You will regret this day, Navarto. Mark my words. You know, if you didn't protest so much, you might actually come to enjoy your stay here with me at Casa Navarto. Ugh! I most certainly will not. Well, have you taken a close look around? For example, have you seen the 12th century tapestries decorating the wall, the marble floors, and the fine china wares? <laughs> I live in a castle too, you know. This does not impress me. Well, what about the lagoon? Olympic size with water slides running down from both the third and fifth floors? Or the Cerebus down the hall? Do you also have a Cerebus in your castle? Do you? No, we do not have that. Let me go! <laughs> May I go home now? No way! You're not even gonna be nice about your kidnapping. Why should I be nice about it? You mean, if I asked nicely, you would let me go? Well, I certainly might consider it. Dear almighty Mr. Wizard, will you please, 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 let me go back home where my family is waiting for me and where I can be happy and not miserable, like now. Um, actually, no, but I did consider it. <laughs> this is pure evil. I said it was evil. Didn't I say I was evil? 
That was literally the first thing I said. But I want to go home. Well, you can't. Pretty please? Nope. Attack the wizard. Ooh, yes, let's attack the wizard. Oh, look, what's that over there? What? Take this, Defradio. Ouch, what did you do that for? Um, poor impulse control? First you call me names, and now you attack me unexpectedly when I had nothing but hospitality to you. I'm really sorry for my actions, Mr. Wizard. I thought at least you would, I would knock you unconscious or something. Sigh, here. What are you gonna do? Vecta Sunt Rene! <laughs> Ribbit? 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 There. Now you're a frog. See how you like that. No, Ribbit. No! Nefato out. Ha <laughs> ha Ribbit sucks. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. Put a sock in it. Man, this is such a great game. Great, great job to the developers for thinking about something like this. It's very creative, and I really haven't seen anything like this. So great, great job with uh, developing a great game like this. I'm sure that there was a lot of coding and a lot of like creativity that was uh, needed for the game like this. So great, great job with this. I love the game, and well, I guess I'll end the video here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to smack that like button for me. Thank you guys so, so much for the support. Do the dang thing, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Adios.